What is going on everybody and welcome back to another Washi Bros Outdoors YouTube video. For this video I've got a duck hunt for you. We went down to Washington, North Carolina and killed five wood ducks, all drakes, four teal and uh, luckily the guys I hunted with, shout out to Davis Jones, Nolan Pasa and Tommy Murray. They let me keep two of the ducks for a catch, clean and cook for my video. So today I'm going to be cleaning up the ducks. I'm going to show you how to get the meat out of them and then I'm gonna cook it up for you guys. And if you have any other ways where you use different parts of the ducks, feel free to comment below and let me know how, how you clean your birds. Smoke that one. I dropped that. <laughs> I was right on it. Nice shooting, boys. Yep. One down. Oh. On me. <laughs> Dude, that guy was smoked. No, I got it. Teal. Teal. All right. Firstly, what I do, open up a trash bag, and then you're gonna pluck all the feathers off of the breast. So you're just gonna go all the way down to the skin. Pluck, 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 pluck them all off. So what I do is I tuck the bag down in my pants. It's time to go to work. Oops.
We had a great time out on the water. It was a pretty pressured area, so we had to get in into the blind early. And of course, I imbibed a little too much the night before, but I was able to at least wake up and actually go hunt. So it looks like this guy's got a split. So when you're cleaning it, you really want to make sure that none of the feathers are getting on the meat because that's going to give it the gamey taste. So make sure you get it off the sides real good too. This guy's head's about to come off. So it's not mandatory. You don't need a fillet knife. You can do it with pretty much any other knife. Um, super simple, what I like to do is I'm going to take my knife, they've got a breastbone going right down the middle, you're going to make one cut down that bone, you're going to follow it all the way up, and then after I've made that cut, you almost can just feel your way down the breastbone this bird. Get that piece of meat out. Really dry them off. All right, so let's get started with the green wing teal. The teal we get in North Carolina, we get green wing and blue wing. Um, green, uh, blue wing is not, not as common as green wing. You normally will shoot a bunch of green wing teal. Um, they're super fast. They sound like little Nerf footballs when they're flying through the sky. It's pretty cool. You can almost hear them before you even see them. Most of the time, that's, that's how it goes. You just hear like little whistles flying over your head and then you look up and you see a group of ducks. Once you've completely cleaned up the breast, you can see the breastbone going right down the middle. Take your knife. You're gonna get as close to that breastbone as you can. Make an incision going right down it and then it makes a curve about right here and it goes straight down the side of the duck. So you're just going to take that little curve with it. Get all the fur off my fingers. Like I said, off a of teal, you're not getting a crazy amount of meat. It's like a little, little chicken, McDonald's chicken nugget. And I'm gonna be making duck pop, bacon wrapped duck poppers today. Your ingredients you're gonna need is gonna be a Allegro hickory smoke marinade. They come in three kinds, Tennessee whiskey, original, and hickory smoke. I normally like to use them on my steaks, preferably ribeyes, just cause that, fat in it really soaks it up and makes it a nice juicy steak. Um, you're going to need cream cheese, eight ounces. As you can see, Madeline already dug in. You're going to need already. green jalapenos or red, whatever you would like. I, I did buy one red, so we're going to try that out too. And then you're going to need your bacon and your, I always forget what they're called, toothpicks. toothpicks. You're going to need your toothpicks. Before we get started, I want to say a quick shout out to everybody and thank everyone um, for all the love and support you guys have been showing us. <laughs> it's super, super sweet of everybody. Um, I'm gonna try and get Grayson and Scotty into more videos. It's tough because uh, Scotty's moved down to Savannah and is super busy, and Grayson is busy with baseball and school. But you will see them in the future. I'm gonna get them included in some hunting and fishing trips. So the first step that we're gonna do in the process of making our duck poppers is we're gonna cut our jalapenos. So I'm gonna cut the top off, right down the center. And then you're gonna get seeds out. The coal. Oh, 
Hi, it's me. I'm Corey. The better half. The better half. Oh, it just pulls out that easy? I'm such a loser. All right, let's take a vote down in the comment section. <laughs> Who cored out their jalapenos better? Hmm. All right, everybody. And our next step is going to be, you're gonna take a little bit of your cream cheese and you're just gonna fill the inside of the jalapeno. Jalapeno? Jalapeno. This is starting with the wood duck. The wood duck's obviously the bigger um, of the two breasts. Now, duck is like, duck is very comparative to venison, I would say. It's like, it's just like deer. So next step is you're gonna cut your bacon strips right down the middle. And then, and you're just gonna roll it. Roll it like so. And that's where your toothpick comes into play. Toothpick goes right through the end of the bacon. And you got a popper. And then, after you're done wrapping your jalapeno duck filled poppers with bacon, you're gonna come on over to the oven and you're just gonna plop them on in there. And you're gonna set your oven to 400 and you're gonna bake for like 30 to 40 minutes. <laughs> All right, everybody, here we go. Is it good? <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I love it. That was definitely one of the sweet peppers, not, not one of the spicy jalapenos. But way better than I thought. Came awesome. out way better than I thought. Yeah, it's super good. You need to try one. Go for it all. Go for it all. Might as well. Mm -mm. Do it for the dime. <laughs> You're being so weak. What was that bite? Mm. <laughs> Mr. Maddox. Hold on. Mama, eat the popper. <laughs> Just eat it. Huh? Okay, see. Here we go. Mama's gonna plop the whole thing in her mouth. <laughs> There she goes, she did it. Mm. <laughs> no, you hate it. Do you hate it? She hates it. Uh -huh. Our celebrity guest today is going to be Jules Brenna. She's gonna taste test it. Here we go. Oh, 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 really hot. Yeah, oh, 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 it's hot. She got some of the duck. Really hot. The duck was really in there. Good. Really good, everyone. What? That was so quick. Was it actually? Yeah, it was really good. You didn't get a gaming piece? No. It was delicious. It tastes like steak. Tastes like steak! Woo! Yeah. Piece, and a, and a little piece of the meat was a little gamier than my liking, but that was probably because I didn't get to marinate it for a full 24 hours. And also, if you want to take some of the blood out of your meat, which is giving you that gamey taste, you want to put it in a brine of like brown sugar and some kosher salt and uh, some water, and it'll pull that uh, blood out of your meat and make it not taste as gamey, so. Just a little food for thought. Thank you for tuning in to this Washi Bros Outdoors YouTube video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and share it with your friends. And until next time, we are out.